These square methods, uh, we try to find a line best fitting through three points. We see uh, three points given A, B, and C, and what's the best fitting line? So first plot the points, so it's minus one, minus one, so it will be something there, point A. Then we have B, zero, two, somewhere over there, and we have a C, one, two to the right, and one up. So, somewhere there. So, best fitting line could be something like, say, this. Well, there are a dozen of options over here. What we're going to do is we optimize for the distance, the vertical distance from every point towards this best fitting line, whatever that may be. Normally, you should take the vertical distance, but this is much easier for calculations. Um, so how we find this line? First, we know that the line has a a is a x added by b. This is more or less the European Union notification. Uh, you could also say y is a added by b x. Well, same difference. Um, first thing we do is just put the numbers in the equation here. So we have the x coordinate and the i, so I have minus 1 equals minus a added by b, and we have a 2 equals 0 a added by b, and we have a 1 equals 2 a added by b, something like this. Now normally you could solve a set of equations with two equations and two variables, but here we have three equations and two variables, so that's that's a problem. In the picture here it shows that you cannot draw the line through these three points at the same time. So um, there's not a mathematically nice solution. What we'll do is find the best fitting solution and first step is put these equations in the form of a matrix. So here it says minus a meaning minus 1a, so we have a minus 1 and a 1, so added by 1b we have a 0 and a 1 and a 2 and 1. So if we multiply this by a b, we actually get the same thing as here on uh, the right side of the equal signs. This is equal to minus 1, 2, 1. So actually we have a matrix a multiplied by a factor x is a factor b. Well, this factor x is nothing to do with all the x-coordinates, it's just a and b, which are part of the formula over here. Let's say the a is the, uh, the angle of the line and b is the starting point here uh, with the y-axis. So normally what you should do is take the inverse matrix, say, well, we have a minus 1, and we do the same thing on the other side, multiplied by a times x equals times b. But here we see that a does not exist. The reason for that is that this matrix A is not a square matrix, so we are not able to, uh, so it says no inverse. In the picture you can see, well, there is no line which goes through the three points at the same time. Okay, so how can we solve? Well, we can uh, make this matrix square by multiplying by the transpose. So we have a transpose times a times x is a transpose times b. Well, this is a matrix and we won't just want to have here x is. So I have to get rid of this part. So what we do is a transpose times a whatever that may be, we take the inverse, multiply by a transpose times a, which is in fact the part over here, times x is a t times a uh, minus 1 times a t times b. So with a color, this part over here is the same as this part over there, to remain equal. So this is the uh, unit matrix because it doesn't matter what's being 
behind here, it's the same as there. So if you multiply a matrix with the inverse, you get the um, uh, unit matrix given that the inverse is existing. So we have um, the unit matrix gives us a t times a uh, minus 1 times a t times b. So this is uh, 1, 0, 0. Um, no, actually not, because it is a uh, square matrix 2. So what you do here is you multiply uh, by 1. So this gives us a and b. So what you have to do now is put this in your calculator. Uh, calculator. And solve the equation. That's what we are going to do now. Um, I suggest you will give it a try yourself and we have a look at the results. So what we do now is put the matrix in your calculator. Um, I store this one as... Um, you can store the matrix A, so your calculator. You store A as matrix A in my case. I have the factor B stored as a matrix uh, B and so if you put this in your calculator I get my um, my factor X is probably something like uh, decimal numbers but you can recalculate that back to uh, fractions it says uh, 4 7 and uh, 1 7 so now we have found the A and the B and we can say that um, here, um, the line is something like uh, 4 7 of x uh, added by 1 7. So this would be the best fitting line. Question is, how well does it fit? So if you store this one as a matrix C, uh, you could also say that, um, well, this doesn't fit here quite well. So there should be something like an arrow 1 which is this one over here, and error 2, which is the error over here, and error 3, which is the error over there, and then it equals. So um, you could say that uh, I have something like an error factor added over there. That's this factor over here. So if I recalculate that, they could say here, oh, if I'm interested in the error, I could say the error is the b factor minus a times x. And I've stored the x as a c, so it's quite easy, or nothing is easy, but it is possible to calculate this without uh, putting these numbers in your calculator. Uh, so what we do is, here we say the error is uh, the b factor, here, minus a times x which is actually the C. And that gives something like uh, 4 7 um, minus 6 7 and uh, 2 7. So now we have found that the here that this error is something like 4 7 units up. And the E2 is something like minus 6 7 down. And here we have to go up again, something like 2 7. So we're not only able to calculate the best fitting line, but we can also say something about the error of each measurement relative to the best fitting line. Well, excuse my English, it's not uh, too good. My native language is Dutch, but uh, I'm still learning. Hope this was a useful video for you and uh, see you next time.